I wanted to address something that I'm often asked, not only from people in my industry, the primary industry that I made my living, which is the entertainment industry, but also the industry in which I've been working for the past 10 years, which is the business entrepreneur and marketing industry. Um, I've spoken on a lot of stages. I've sung on a lot of stages. I've performed for millions of people live. And, you know, I reached a certain level in, in my career. And one of the main things that I'm always asked is like, how, how did you do that? How did you get there? That's why Star Power was created, because I wanted to talk about the real life things that people go through as they're reaching different success points in their life. And it's not just business. This is personal success points. Everybody has an obstacle or dare I say multiple obstacles in their lives that they have to navigate to get to where they are. Some seem insurmountable to others. Uh, they may, may seem insurmountable to you. And what may seem huge to somebody else may seem very small to another person. So everybody's journey is unique. Everybody's journey is theirs. And when we look at our lives in relation to other people, really objectively, we can see that. And, you know, th this was something that uh, happened a lot when I started out in the entertainment industry, is you would look at people who were in your, you know, your age bracket or, you know, in the same group as you. And they're like, you know, some you'd compare, you'd be like, whoa, that person's doing more than I am. How come they're doing, they're succeeding more? Um, or that person's doing less. And that comparison can be good, but it can also be bad because when you start looking at, here, here's how I would put it. It's good when you go, okay, what are they doing in their career? And let's put talent aside, right? Because here's the deal. In, in the entertainment industry, and I wrote a book on this, which you can get for free, by the way. Um, it's a bestseller on Amazon. It's called The Artist Survival Guide, What They Never Taught You in School. And I would encourage you to get it. It's free. And you can go to yourstarpower.com forward slash A-S-G, Artist Survival Guide. Even if you're not an artist, get the book and read it. In that book, I talk about how art is arbitrary. It's not like sports per se. It's more like gymnastics, competitive gymnastics or something like that, where you have people judging you to determine whether you're good or not, or whether you're going to win. Um, unlike baseball, where whoever scores the most runs wins the game. Football, whoever scores the most points wins the game. Golf, whoever scores the lowest wins the game. There is no arbitrary with it. You know, watching the Olympics, whoever throws the shot put the furthest wins the game. That's not the same in art. It's arbitrary. One person couldn't like this artist and one person doesn't like that artist. I don't like their music. It's arbitrary. And I use that because when we start to measure ourselves against other people, it can be used as a negative against you or you can use it against yourself because then you second guess, why am I not doing? But you can also use it, as I said earlier, to say, okay, what are they doing that I am not? And the reason I mentioned the book was because in the book, I also talk about the fact that if you're going to play at a high level, you have to have a skill set. You're not going to walk onto an NBA court and not be able to play with those players if you don't have that skill set. You can play, but you're going to get crushed. I talk about it like in football, you know, unless you're going to be able to play at that level, you're going to get crushed and run over. At the highest level in art, it's sort of the same way, I guess, specifically with singers, live singers. If you can't do it, there's no auto-tune. I mean, there is auto-tune in live, but you're not going to sustain. So I'm coming at it from the point where you have to have a skill set. And no matter what your skill set is, you're an expert in something. You could be an expert in helping people. You can be an expert in caring about people. You can be an expert in accounting and teaching and teaching people how to, you know, create computer code, whatever, whatever it is, right? You can be an expert in that and you have some expertise because of your life. So if you compare yourself to someone else's journey, look at the steps that they've taken to get to where they got and say, okay, have I done that? You've probably heard this a thousand times. If you want to 
If you want to like reach success, find somebody in your niche or your industry who has done it and figure out what they did. Follow those steps. I also talk about the road less traveled in my book and and it's it's a great it's a great analogy. But if you want to get somewhere and you want to get there fast, take the road more traveled. Take the road that will get you there the quickest. Learn and then when you arrive, then create your own world, right? Create your own path. So that's what I would say. So people ask me about that all the time. But when we start comparing ourselves to others and it becomes a negative, like, oh my gosh, they did and I'm not. They're having success. I'm not. I'm a failure. I'm a this. I'm a that. You're going to go down the wrong hole. And it happens a lot. I talk to a lot of people who get stuck in that. And part of what I love to do is hold people accountable to go, okay, on this date, you're going to have this done. Back in the in the in the Broadway days, still in the Broadway days, you have a you have a, a set date that the show is going to open. You do. The theater is rented. You have a trajectory. You're selling tickets for that opening night. You have usually six weeks to rehearse, a couple of weeks of previews, and then you're open. And that's it. You have a deadline that you have to hit, and if you don't hit that deadline, eh, ain't going to be so good. So when you hold yourself accountable. And you're looking at positive impact, positive things that you can do, positive momentum to get to where you want to go, positive actions to where you get to want to go. Action creates traction. If you're just sitting there moping, if you're sitting there lamenting the fact that your business is not where you want it to be, the fact that your life is not where you want it to be, the fact that your career is not where you want it to be, and you're not taking action to move it forward, then it's your responsibility. So stop sitting there. Even if you take one step to read a book, even if you're going, oh my gosh, everything is horrible right now. You know, the economy is crashing. My business is crashing. I'm losing money. The interest rates are going up. I don't have enough money to pay my rent. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I've been there. Trust me, I have been there more than once. More than once. But I can't sit. You can't sit in stasis because you're you're not going to stay. You're going to go backwards because the world's moving while you're sitting, right? It's like sitting at a red light or sitting on the side of the road and all the cars are sitting at a red light and you stay there and the cars are still going. They're going to get to their destination and you're still going to be sitting at the side of the road. They're going to be way beyond you and life is going to pass you by. Now, if that's your choice and that's your trajectory on life, you just want to chill by the side of the road, cool. But I dare to say you probably don't. You want to enjoy life. You want to have success. You want to have money. People want to have money. You have to on this planet. You got to pay for stuff. And in order to do that, you have to take some action. Even if it's the smallest action. Here's here's the thing. My book is free. It doesn't cost you a dime. You can read it. That's just time. You can download the PDF. It'll be sent to you via email. You don't have to do anything but open up your email. Yourstarpower.com forward slash ASG. ASG. It's the number one bestseller. I'm giving it to you for free to help you. Action, 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 action. All right? So that's a little quick snippet that I wanted to share with you. So take a look at it. Download it. Grab it. Take some action today. Look at the positive things you can do. Find somebody in your field that is doing what you want to do. Figure out what they did. Research them. That's free too. You got the internet in front of you. Just Google Figure out what they did and then copy it. Copy it. Take those steps. Do it. Take their steps and follow those steps to success. And trust me, you're going to be better off than sitting on the side of the road. I say this all the time. Your destiny is waiting. Your destiny is waiting for you to go and get it. So go and get it. Take some action. Hope this is of help to you and uh, tune in next time. Grab that book. It's totally free.